credits too. The last couple of episodes we've heard you speaking over the credits. Over this, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get you old, we'll break the gun, we'll make this till we're all together raking and we'll raise a cup of grog down in the big bilge tank. In the big bilge tank, come and join our fire crew. In the, the big, big bilge, bilge tank. tank, we will show you what to do. Now we'll hack it till we crack it, and we'll tell the world about it, and forget to tidy up. That's why it's now a bilge tank. Hello, and welcome to episode 074 of the bilge oh, tank. That caught me off guard. It's mirrored. We, ooh, Phil, you're over there. We've got a new monitor, and oh, everything's water, reversed. It's not mirrored. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Was it? Uh, yeah. It's that's fine. Easy. We'll be fine. So we got a very exciting thing to say, yeah. haven't we, Sandy? Yep. What's said? Yep. <laughs> Let's plug it in. <sighs> so I'll hold it down to the desk, right? Just to make sure <laughs> nothing goes to, crazy. I need to make sure I get this right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Phil! They've been taking bets in chat on how long it would take for a picture-in-picture picture error. Here we go. Shh, shh, shh. Cool. <whistles> We've taken the finest... Finish fiberglass. And reveal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for the right bit in the music. You want a crescendo? You yeah. want some drama? Here we go. Oh. Stop. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> that looks really awesome, big on we've screen. Got a, we've got to wait 20 seconds. Also, for the note, note the use of hammer headers. Yeah. And banana for scale, obviously. Banana scale. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, this is a uh, speaker fat. Which is pretty freaking cool. Super cool, cool yeah. Like I think it's the best fat that we've... Well, the best looking fat that we've made. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, isn't it? Dun, dun. Yeah, that is quite zoomed in, that camera. We have had a bit of a bilge tank retrofit. In fact, you can see the um, close-up camera now mm. on uh, there. Uh, uh. Which is now a, a new articulated arm. The back We've stabilised the camera, but we haven't been able yet to stabilise Sandy. Yeah, <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah. So. Yeah. You, but you are holding that fat by two connected wires. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is speaker fat, which is basically a teeny tiny little speaker. These things are yeah, insanely probably. small. Um, and we mounted it underneath the fat, because it's the only kind of speaker you can get the clearance for, uh, and hooked it up to a, an I2S DAC plus amp, so we have a, pretty a, awesome. a low profile one of it. Actually, see how wide the speaker is. Yeah. <coughs> Very thin line speaker. So it's cool for things like audio alerts or messages. Quite nice for what's the say command on Pi? Like on that <laughs> Mac, there's a thing that lets you talk. Does they have that? Yeah, 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 yeah it works. Like that on yeah. Pi. Um, yeah. But that's pretty awesome because you could hook that up to something like. System. When um, when a network interface comes up, you have it automatically say out the IP address, <laughs> which is what I'm going to do with mine. So I think it's pretty useful. Well, um, do the actual amplifier. Should we turn the music up? Yeah, yeah. Let's turn the music. Up. Sure. The actual amplifier on there is rated for three watts uh, through a four ohm speaker. Mm -hmm. We've actually knocked the gain down because this little speaker couldn't cope with it. It's so tiny. But there is a solder bridge on the back of the board, which mm -hmm. you can reconnect to kind of boost the gain if you want to connect a different speaker to it. So the speaker's um, two watt eight ohm, is that right? It's kind of that speaker. Yeah. Speaker specs are always a little bit. And it's um, mm, yeah right. Yeah, the cone on it's made of uh, mylar. Yeah, it's a little mylar uh, speaker. It's all it's almost flush to the top, but we actually stand it off with some nuts because obviously the, the membrane stops moves. the sound yeah, yeah. basically here yeah. in the back side of the. Yeah, it sounds speaker. really kind of rubbishy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of and weird. Yeah. Um, so yeah, obviously this isn't like a high fidelity audio solution. This is more for setting up. Um, and a nice little warning sounds, um, just just fun stuff really. Yeah, yeah. And uh, cool. you can, I think this is rigged up so that if yeah. we plug we this in, zero lipo. Zero. Yeah, we've got a zero lipo attached and to this. And a tiny, pie. tiny, one hundred and fifty milliamp hour lipo to connect to it. Uh, so upside down, well. Sandy. I think. Oh uh, well. Half of that, you're doing a great job. That there we go. Oh, Look at that tiny yeah. little lipo. So now you basically have a tiny little boombox that you can go around with it on your shoulder. <laughs> Just <laughs> encourage people to use a rubber dance. band, stick it to your ear. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, it's a well, good you product. can have your sweat band on, aren't you? So you can just tuck it oh, inside the sweat band. Yeah. We should all go out jogging one day or something. Like, we feel, <laughs> feel 80s. That should be the promo video. <laughs> yeah. 
Du, 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 du. That's right. Uh, so, guys, are you going to explain what the heck that is? What well, this is? This yes. is a slightly bigger speaker. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to show you that this is not a product. I think we'll do this one first, probably. This, is, that a, one first. Uh, this okay. is a pipe heat speaker. Yeah. So, basically, Speaker Fat has got uh, a mono I2S DAC stroke amplifier. And the way that we've configured it is to blend both. Blend both audio streams from the Pi. Try rebooting it again. Yeah. It probably feels dodgy code. We'll just try then. We'll put the bigger speaker on it. Go on. And then we will. Outrageous. Um, so, obviously, because it's only one speaker, we've blended both the left and right audio channels. So you get all the audio that comes out of the Pi. But you don't have to use the um, speaker that we supply. There's, there's a couple of pads on the back where you can solder any speaker you like. So within on this reason. one. With, yeah, within reason, like a 4 8 ohm speaker, reasonable size. Um, this uh, this one is set up using our Picade speaker, so it's the same speaker we kit in the Picade. You usually get two of yeah. them. It's a lot lighter than them. Has that one had the gain <laughs> bridge <laughs> done, or is that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, let's look. I think that was default. That one. Yeah. UK Scone has a very good point that this is ideal for hiding in places to pretend you have a ghost orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> so you could like tuck it on top of the cupboards in the yeah, kitchen like or something. I know you're trying to Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just chirping yeah, away. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. You want to lift that up? <laughs> we've actually got picture in picture because of the reflection in the cone. Oh, we have. We can see Sandy in the cone. That's pretty cool. That is pretty punchy. I could feel it from here. You could feel, you could feel the yeah, air music. Right, let's step up a notch later. <laughs> we I might have to go off close up camera. Yes, this. yes. I don't think this will actually fit. Let's see if I can get this right. <laughs> Woohoo! Here we go. Back of the net. Do we we don't really recommend using a speaker this big with it. Do, do we have ear defenders for this? Don't know how long <laughs> this is going to last. Uh, this is the biggest speaker we physically have in the building. So. Had a we thought we'd give it a go. sensor for ghost pranks. I just say it's 8 ohm, I don't know what power it's meant to be. It's going to be quite a lot, I guess. Oh, All of the powers. Bent the pens on this. Ah, okay. oh, Sandy. Lovely, it's a hammerhead, so we could remove it and just <laughs> put another one in. <laughs> yeah, you individually ply them out. Why is that not going on? Do you want to just swap the SD card into a different zero? <laughs> Why, why have we got a full sized up? original pie there? It must be. Do you want to have a short jump? There must be a dodgy bent pin there. What are you doing, lad? Not well, too bad, does it? It's weird. It's, it's lined up properly, but it's just not going on. It's not anything broken up in that header or anything. So. Please wait while we have some header problems. Yeah. Technical difficulties. Difficulties. Um, Header says no. Header does say no. Maybe it must be a pen stuck inside it or something. It must be. <laughs> I love the, hmm, the application of four. Oh, it might just be enough connection anyway. Let's give it a shot. Do you want to show the product page in the tutorial? Yeah, that's just the uh, product page. So um, obviously Sandy has put together a lovely tutorial for how to build up your speaker fact. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I've obviously you need to solve it. your headers. I've got it. You got it. You just weren't strong enough to. You're like a machine, Sandy. Um, you used a hammer. All you have to do with this one is solder the header on and <laughs> mount the speaker and then solder the speaker to the two pads that are on the PCB, which is pretty straightforward. We supply everything you need to get that done and away you go. Yep. Is it is it is it boosting still? Yeah, it's boosting. Yeah. Let's go back to camera. Oh my god! <laughs> is it is it smouldering? In the view. We're gonna do awful things to that. Is it, what is that? Oh, it's just the view. What's the view? Uh, so you could create okay. a network. Don't know that. You can't. It's five zeros everywhere. You can do what? Network audio in your car with just five zeros everywhere. That's it. That it'll be very slightly out of phase. The shelf is really <laughs> irritating. Yeah. Um, so that's available now on our shop. It's speaker fat. Um, it's twelve pounds. That's it. Is what it is. There's a good description. Nice assembly guide. Oh, Phil.
Nearly speaking of <laughs> Stuff with Gobi who's saying it's probably our terrible ham headers. Um, <laughs> that's. No idea. What was it, Sunday? Did I you don't know, it I think it, uh, it was just because the pins were uh, bent slightly, I think. Oh, okay. It, it was when the first time I took the, 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 the first one off, I bent the pin slightly when I was taking it off. Which I always do, but it's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> Paul says he can hear it next door, <laughs> which is not surprising. Um, and yeah, there is, a, there is a little solder bridge on the back, so you can bump it up by another three decibels um, if you have got a bigger speaker like this one. Yeah. So the max screen is six decibels? Or it's something? six, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That speaker will surely burn out the amp, though. I would have thought so. We don't recommend that speaker. No. And indeed, we don't sell it. Um, but we do have a couple of speaker options, actually. Let's have a quick look while we're in, in the yeah. store. Um, so if you get the speaker fat kit, it comes with the tiny little Mylar speaker. Um, but we do have some other speaker options. We've got uh, obviously the Picade one, which is our standard three, uh, three inch four ohm speaker. And also we've got a nice German one, which is the five watt four ohm speaker, um, which would sound really good with this. So there's a few options there. And bone transducers. Are we going to sell these speakers? Yeah, so probably actually. Them. Yeah, we'll get the speakers listed. Um, they do claim to be 2 watt 8 ohm, but that's probably a little generous. They sound remarkably good actually for their size. Uh, it's, I, I was surprised actually the first time I heard it by how, how good it sounded. Kind of, yeah, the, the, the rule of thumb is that the richness and quality of sound from the speaker is basically proportions, proportional to size. size. Yeah. Um, so obviously, something. You're not that expecting it to sound it. good. But, yeah, it's alright. Very good. Um, we've got a couple of new products and other tabs. And other then other tabs. we also have a couple of cool links. Bam. Ada Box 2 is in the house. Well, we've actually only got one left because it's been quite popular. <laughs> um, but we'll have more on the way. This is their um, Bluetooth robot kit. So you get your feather Bluetooth host, you get the little robot chassis, you get the wheels, the motors, and you can build a little phone controllable robot, which is pretty cool. Nice. Good kit. Don't know what number three is going to be. Does anyone know yet? Not the foggiest clue. Not the yeah. clue. And we also have the ProtoSnap from Sparkfun, which is their wearables uh, kind of range. This is a single PCB where you snap out the individual pieces. It comes with conductive thread and needles and the kind of programming little host board and a LiPo battery. All in one. So it's like a complete oh, nice. wearable solution uh, in a single product. Stuff of Kirby asks, can the volume be adjusted or is it only two levels. Adjusted in software, basically. It can be, yeah. We figured out a way to allow you to adjust volume in software. Thanks, actually, to someone who posted it on our forums. So yeah. You're right, you're having forums where you find the answer to all your problems. That's it. Sharing makes... Sharing means caring or something. <laughs> I don't it's know. basically a, an ALSA plugin that does soft volume control. It yeah. does. And Phil's done some quite nifty stuff with the VU. It's actually an ALSA plugin as it well, is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, so yeah. you install the plugin, and then in asound.com, you can configure the direction the VU runs, the brightness of the LEDs, yep. and perhaps some of the shenanigans. We'll see a lot well. more stuff once I start adding other products to it as well. Yep. It's actually quite a nice set system, isn't it? The whole ALSA sound plugin. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure exactly how it works and what data I'm reading, but. Yeah, it's it a bit of a lean field to actually work with. Yeah. <laughs> the comp file. But it's always nice to have like a plugin <laughs> system that you can hook stuff into yeah, rather yeah, than yeah. it being like a black yeah. box you yeah. can't do I mean anything the, with. Yeah, I mean, the beauty of this is that it works with like all of the system audio in the Pi. Um, so you can play stuff on YouTube, you can um, you know, stream Spotify, nice. you can. Yeah, it's uh, not do like your like streaming. What was the other example we've done before? The scroll fat for you. Yep. And that one you had to run a Python script and give it like a WAV file or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whereas this is actually integrated in the audio subsystem running under Raspbian. So you can edit like any sound being produced if I'm by the system. Feeling nice, I might write a, a plugin for scroll fat or add functionality to this plugin for you to say product and it will drive different hats. Perfect. Unfortunately, not unicorn hat. Because you can't run the audio at the same time. For oh, well you a it's not so much that, but rather you need to run it as root, and the answer right. that sound system runs in the context of the user. It's in user it land, it. so it could be. It's just more trouble than I want to do. Fair enough. Uh, we have a cool link this link. week <coughs> since uh, we released the Android Things hat, Rainbow Hats last year in November. It's been very popular. Lots of people playing with it. Um, we saw a project from the guys at Mapbox. Uh, come up. Do you want to bring up the tab? Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, Mapbox Map kind of Box. experimenting with Android things. Uh, I guess they have like Android client stuff. I haven't looked into it. We use the web based Mapbox. Um, yeah, I think, that, I think apps can use it. I think we've got an API for apps to hook into 
smart. Yep. Uh, so they picked up a, a Raspberry Pi in one of our Rainbow hats, and they've done a nice little demo of integrating with the Mapbox API. So this video is, I'm going to play it, I don't know if we'll get any audio. I swear I've Basically, come across Mapbox before. Yeah, it's just a cool mapping kind of. Yeah, yeah I think it's very popular. Trying to add mapping to something. I can't are they getting any audio, Phil? Device cam, is that me? Yeah, yeah they are, aren't they? Audio, you can get your audio. Um, so they've set this up so that you, when you click mm. one of the three buttons on the um, rainbow hat, it does something different. So like goes and finds out how far the drive home is going to be today, <laughs> or how long it's going to take, um, or where the nearest burrito is, or something like that. So it's a cool little project. They Check could it use out. the star display to actually do turn by turn directions as well. You could do, couldn't you? You could have, you could even have like the next four actions <laughs> lined up, a bit like Tetris blocks dropping down. <laughs> That'd be quite cool. Um, so that's a cool little project. They've put the code up on GitHub, so you can have a play around with it yourself as well. And then the last thing is just something I saw today, which we tweeted. It's kind of awesome. Uh, this is, a, <laughs> this is. A, have you watched it? You love space. I haven't. No. Have you watched it? No. You should both watch it. We shall. You should be ashamed. Uh, this is a really great space presentation from space given by a pilot, not a shuttle pilot, but a, a pilot about the process of landing the shuttle, taking it from orbit and getting it onto the runway. And it's actually incredibly complicated, the processes they go through and, and how it um, how it manages that. I mean, it's it's very interesting. But the presentation's great as well. He's really funny. Was there some atmospheric breaking? I think it was just a talk at, um, a, at a show or something, some sort of conference. Because I believe the Soyuz capsules um, have all of the manuals in Russian. Right. And um, so the the astronauts that go back to. land in the Soyuz capsules um, have to be able to read the manuals in Russian. Right. Uh, the other thing is that they also have pistols, I think, because they land in Siberia, so they have weapons to defend themselves from wolves and bears. Yes, polar bears. Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe that's the. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Russian astronauts take well. uh, pistols at them. Um, but the guy who presents it is is very funny. It's 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 very easy watch. It's about twenty minutes long, but it's well worth it. Space shuttles are cool. And so it's space should, shuttles no. that have to land like that to, to, to cr break create the it. drag, basically. Yeah, but they do all sorts of things. They like flip upside down <laughs> at, points, <laughs> at points of the kind of transit into uh, into into the atmosphere. They're they're all over the place. And the way that they stop themselves is they can't obviously turn on any brakes, so they just slew backwards and forwards. <laughs> so they bank more when they need to speed up, and they bank less when they need to slow down. And they, they, it's all one shot. They basically have to drop from the height of an airliner to the runway in three minutes and they get no second chance because well, there's no yeah, engines at that point, chance. you know, it's a glider basically, so. You don't. Um, but, you know, lots of people have talked about Space Shuttle and how it lands, but this guy's genuinely really entertaining, so it's worth a watch. And I think that's it. Really? Well, yeah. Yeah. Quick episode. We can't really show people what we've done in here, really, can we? Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll do a behind the scenes we'll behind one the day. Scenes. But we should yeah, see. It's very cool. Right, don't forget to like comment and subscribe. See you later folks. See, See you next week. See if I can get this right.